count to 21 and add different rules in between. Can you handle the pressure for your team in Cheers to the Governor? And today we'll be teaching you how to play Cheers to the Governor, game designed by Cameron Ring, Corey Shrimple and KC Shrimple and published by Lost Boy Entertainment. And hello everyone, it's Stella. And Tarrant here from Maple University. Okay, let's go to the classroom. Cheers to the Governor is a cooperative counting game for three or more players. In this video, these wooden meatballs will represent my players. These do not come with the game. To begin the first round, choose a first player and then starting with that player, count from 1 to 21 clockwise around the table. So the first round is very simple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 18, 19, 20, 21. Whoever counts the final number becomes the governor. Cheers to the governor. The governor now changes the rule for one of the game's numbers by drawing one card from the number deck and drawing three cards from the rule deck, looking at them and choosing their favorite to keep in play. In this case, from now on, in future rounds, instead of counting the number 10, whoever has that number must say the word bullseye. Once all players have memorized this number and rule, flip the cards face down. These may only be consulted again if everyone forgets the rule. Now from the last governor, start the count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, bullseye, 11, 12, and so on. If you get to 21 again, congratulations, it's time to add another new rule. As you keep winning more and more rounds, you'll add more and more rules, and eventually someone will forget one of the rules. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, you're supposed to say bullseye. If a mistake is made, that count is over and the team has to restart, with the player making the mistake, starting again from the number one. Continue replaying the same round with the same set of rules until you succeed, and then once again, add another new rule and number to the mix. The aim of the game is to complete 21 rounds such that you complete the round in which every single number has been replaced by a rule. Rules come in a variety of different types. Some require a word substitution for you to say something instead of the number. Some involve making a physical move instead of the number. Some involve a mix of both. Some rules involve naming something from a specific category, and if you're playing the expert mode of the game, you're not allowed to repeat the same answer to one of these rules more than once during the game. Meaning you'll need to keep thinking of new answers from round to round. And finally, and perhaps most terrifying of all, some rules require you to do math. If you'd like to play an easier game, you can choose to reduce the number to which you count. For example, count only to 15 and remove cards 16 through 21 from the deck. And that's how to play Cheers to the Governor. Thanks so much for watching. Your like and comments are much appreciated. Subscribe to see what's coming and hopefully you have a wonderful day. See you next time.